how can I know if I have eczema? So in order to know if you have atopic dermatitis or atopic eczema, the best thing is to present to your doctor because it can be recognized um, as having a pattern that we usually see with our eyes. And that pattern can be, um, that's something that we have to train to recognize as physicians. Uh, but your doctor will ask you questions that can help to support the diagnosis. And those answers are really important to understanding if you have it. And, and one of those answers would be, is it itchy? So it would not be eczema if it's not itchy. The second is you would normally have had this since you were a young child or um, in, in rare cases, you can develop it later in life, but it definitely supports the diagnosis if you can answer yes to the question, have you had this since you were a child? The disease comes and goes. So uh, the rash of eczema is present and then it disappears. So it's a chronic problem that uh, relapses and recurs um, and then it goes into remission and disappears and then comes back again. And so that's another supporting factor in the diagnosis for a physician. Um, the other really key point that we usually look for is a family history of either eczema, asthma, food allergies, or hay fever in yourself or in members of your immediate family. And then the last question that we really focus on as physicians is, does it look like eczema? And when we ask that question, we're not only asking about the core items of, you know, we're not just looking for redness or scratch marks or thickening of the skin, but we're also looking at where it presents. Is it in these characteristic locations? So in infancy, we would look for the cheeks. We would look for areas that we call extensors or the outer surface of your limbs. And then in childhood, we'd be looking where the skin touches other skin, where typically you'd have it behind the knees, in the crease of the elbows, around the neck. And then what is a little bit more challenging is when you have this condition into adulthood. And, and there it's as if all bets are off. Eczema can present only around the eyelids, only around the lips, only around the nipples, only on the hands. And the patterns are much more difficult uh, to diagnose, even for a physician. <music>